Hi, I've had a lot of people ask me what I use to project images and drawings onto my work surfaces. So in this video, I'll be showing you my projector and telling you what I think is important for artistic use. Most of the time I use a digital projector to map out a drawing at the beginning of my painting process. I usually spend only about 10 or 15 minutes doing this, but it's a tremendous time saver. The images I project are digital images from my studio computer, although it would also work to send images from a laptop, a tablet, or a smartphone. These devices all treat the digital projector in the same way that they would a computer monitor or a flat screen TV. The projector has the same variety of input connections on the back. This is the projector that I've had for several years now. It's a Sharp Note Vision XR10S. It came out in 2005 and was discontinued in 2007 and I paid about a thousand dollars for it new. I think it was designed mainly for institutional use, for giving presentations and the like, and it really seems quite well made. It's had a couple of minor falls, but it keeps on working. At this point, the only real drawbacks are that it lacks modern inputs like USB or HDMI ports and one could wish for a better screen resolution. This is a SVGA model capable of 800 by 600 pixels, and that's been enough for my purposes. But this would be at the low end of resolutions available now in 2020. But it has a good zoom lens and a vertical keystone adjustment to help compensate for projection angle distortion and it's fairly bright, rated at 2,000 lumens, which means I can see the projected image well enough, even in an undarkened room. Also, it's in the category of being a short throw projector, which means it can still get focus, even when it's only a few feet away from the target. Some of the projectors designed for home entertainment systems cannot do this, so that's something to watch out for. You'll want to be able to get the projector fairly close to the canvas if you're working on a piece that's small or medium size. There really are more capable projectors available on the market today and for less money. If this unit were to fail today, I would probably shop for something that had at least full HD resolution, was a short throw model, and had good adjustments for keystone distortion. But if someone was on a very strict budget, I can vouch for this old Sharp model being good enough. And I still see used examples for sale online, sometimes for very little money. The main risk there, I think, would be not knowing how much of the 2,000 hours of lamp time remained. And then being aware that needing to replace the lamp could cost $100 or more. And that's it. That's about all I have to offer on this subject. See you next time.